break even and target operating income problem one. Avocado company sells guitars to Mexican restaurants. The guitars sell for $800 and the fixed monthly operating costs are as follows. Rent and utilities $600. Wages and benefits to employees $2,500. Other expenses $478. Avocado understands that for every dollar of sales, 70 cents went to cover fixed costs and anything above that point was profit. What is the amount of revenue that Avocado should earn each month to break even? So we're solving a break even question. Break even, real interesting. I love break even questions. And specifically, when you have a break even question, focus on whether the question is asking for the amount of revenue to break even or the number of units to sell to break even. This one is the amount of revenue. In addition, you might be asked to go beyond the amount to break even, but actually a target profit. These question types are called break even and target operating profit questions for a reason. So here, we're focusing on the break even and also the amount of revenue. Now keep in mind that break even means that you're desiring a zero profit. You just want to break even in terms of your costs. The formula for breaking even is going to be depending on whether you're looking for revenue or units. It's going to be a function of the contribution margin or contribution margin ratio. You're going to take fixed costs, FC, plus your desired profit, which if you're breaking even, desired profit, so profit is a pi sign. If you're breaking even, Desire profit will always be equal to zero. So I always do that formula because some questions you'll be asked a specific um, operating income, and then you want to put that in there because the the uh, manager is looking at trying to get an amount. Think of it as a profit. So we take fixed costs plus our desired profit, which if you're breaking even equals zero, and then that number is going to be divided by the contribution margin the contribution margin per unit and that will give you the break even in number of units and you always round up to the next number always round up to next number of units so if you have 32.12 units round up to 33 so round up to the next unit unless you get the exact amount you always round up because you can't even have a partial unit can't have a partial unit. Now this question though is asking for the amount of revenue to break even. We start off with the same the same formula, but the denominator is going to be different. So it's still going to equal fixed costs plus the desired profit, which again, if it's a break even question like we have here, break even we set this equal to zero like we have here, we're going to divide that by the contribution margin ratio. Now the contribution margin ratio Remember the contribution margin ratio equals, put it over here, contribution margin over sales. And also remember that contribution margin, which is another formula to remember, is sales minus variable costs. So we've got a lot of stuff going on here. We've got a lot of stuff going on here. Keep in mind all of these different formulas, very important formulas. And again, this is the break even in revenue or in dollars in dollars so we're asked for the amount of revenue in this one amount of revenue okay so we are using the below formula bottom formula we're going to take the fixed costs plus the desired profit which because we're breaking even equals zero and we're going to divide that by the contribution margin ratio and then that amount in dollars will give us the break even in dollars let's go ahead and start by doing the, the numerator so our fixed costs, which we add to that zero, because again, for break even questions, the desired profit is zero. Let's go ahead and get that. Our fixed costs, reading the problem, the guitars for sale for $8, that's the sales price. And our fixed monthly operating costs are as follows. So fixed operating um, costs are as follows. So we have $600 in rent utilities, we have $2,500 in wages and benefits to employees, and we have $478 of other expenses. We're gonna add all three of those amounts. So 600 plus 2,500 plus $478, $478. That's going to equal 3,578, 3,578. So again, remember we add zero to that because that is our desired profit. So that equals 3,578. And we're going to divide that by our contribution margin ratio. And then that will give us the ending amount. 
So the contribution margin ratio is a contribution margin over sales. The contribution margin here is the, we're told, if you go through the information, you could be given the sales price, which you're given, could be given the variable costs, or you could be given other information. Here we have other information. Avocado understands that for every dollar of sales, 70 cents went to cover fixed costs and anything above that point was profit. So this 70 cents to cover fixed costs, that is translated into the contribution margin ratio. Why? Because it's the sales minus the variable costs. It's that amount. It's that amount. So the idea here is, well, the contribution margin ratio specifically is that is that ratio of 0 0.70 over $1. That's what it's giving you. 70 cents over $1 equals 70%. So that's another way to calculate this. This is a little confusing. You're saying, oh, 70 cents went to cover fixed costs. It's saying, okay, well, these are our fixed costs here. $3,578 for the month. Well, 70 cents of that went to cover the fixed costs, which that goes to the contribution margin ratio of sales minus variable costs. That portion, sales minus variable costs, that portion or contribution margin ratio, or I'm sorry, contribution margin, sales minus variable costs, that goes to cover fixed costs. That is what contribution margin is all about. It's going to show what is being covered. So that means that our contribution margin ratio is 70%. Is 70%. So we take 3,578 divided by 70% or 0.7. That is how we get this calculation. And I'll go ahead and bring that down. And that amount in dollars equals $5,111. And that is our answer. So the break even in dollars, the break even in dollars is $5,111. $111. That is how we calculate this. Again, you go through, since it's break even, we have a zero for desired profit. Divide that by the contribution margin ratio. If we were doing the number of units, we do contribution margin per unit in there. And then we go through, we calculate the fixed cost. We went ahead and did that, which was $3,578. And then what we do next is we divide that by the contribution margin ratio itself, which here is 70% because we're basically told translation, for every dollar of sales, 70 cents went to cover fixed costs. That is exactly what the contribution margin is. So contribution margin of 70 cents over sales of $1, the equivalent in terms of written out, that, that type of ratio is 70%. So the contribution margin ratio is 70%. And then we can go ahead, take $3,578 in fixed costs plus zero in the desired profit because it's break even, divide that by 70%, you get $5,111 break even in dollars. So with that, make sure you keep into account all these different formulas that you need to know. So we need to know one, two, three, four different formulas here. And we had to use another formula um, to get the contribution margin ratio. This, I wouldn't say it's a formula, but it's a understanding of avocado understands that for every dollar, 70 cents when to cover fixed costs, that is what variable cost is. That's more of an understanding of what exactly it is. So that just shows you that doing these break-even calculations, these target profit questions or target operating income, there's a lot of different formulas you need to know and definitely make sure you go through this many times to understand them.